In this video, we'll take a look at some of the options that are available for scaling a model. Now, in far interaction, we have the option to aim at the scale grips on the corners of the bounding box, and from there, scale the model up or down. Again, the measurements box gives us an indication as to the amount that we're scaling. We also have the option to scale with both hands. So with both hands, we can point the ray anywhere on the bounding box, form a closed fist with both hands, and simply pull your hands apart to scale the model up, or move your hands closer together to scale the model down. Scale also works in near mode. So here if I come up and just pinch one of the grips on the corner of the bounding box, you can scale the model up or down. And the scale function is the one function that offers the ability to interact with the measurement box. So if we tap the measurement box, we see a panel that pops up offering presets for engineering and architectural scale ratios. This is kind of nice. gives us the option to set the scale for the project to a preset, like 16th inch scale or 8th inch scale, which can be a fun way to substitute say, a physical scale model using a hologram instead. It can also be fun to set the model to a larger scale, like 1 inch equals a foot, create almost a dollhouse sized model that you can then sort of stick your head in and look around.